Hi everyone, it is a, uh, it's a really cold Monday, but actually, if I stand back here, the sun is beaming down on the van, which makes it quite warm in the sun, but quite cold in the shade. Are you two gonna be helping me today? We have got a few jobs to get done. I've got about 90 minutes to um, sort some stuff out on the van. So my plan today is to move everything from the van um, into the garage uh, just here. Hello, Phil. Do you know what, Phil? As a as a media mogul that you are, your appreciation for the fact that you're calling me during a live recording isn't necessarily there. But that will be reprieved by maybe a cup of tea when you arrive. Okay, I shall see you shortly. All right, good stuff. All right, see you in a sec. Rube, I'm trying, I'm trying to get some work done. I'm trying to get some work done. I absolutely love it. When I find gin in the van. This isn't the first bottle I've found today. I found another bottle in here. Oh. <laughs> okay, so now I need to pull out the screws underneath. There was a video on Go Westy which uh, has really helped with this, this removal. Um, and of course, Candy, the, the guide dog, she's been <laughs> helping too. And Rupert's just been just been watching <laughs> watching from a distance so um, I'm gonna try and get uh, try and get most of it done and then maybe finish the rest in the dark uh, maybe in the early morning um, the sun's just gone in now but we'll uh, we'll see how we get on Hello everyone. Rupert! Rupert, come here! <laughs> come on, I'm filming now. Come on, Rupert. <gasps> Kitty! Kitty! He's having a fight with the cat. See, this is why I think. Rupert, come here. Rupert, come here. Stay away from the cat. And the cat won't hurt you. And you, Candy, don't you get involved. Right. Hello, everybody. Um, as you've just seen, we've taken the fridge out of the camper van and uh, we've emptied pretty much everything of the camper van now, so it's completely empty, which is handy for working on. We also had a look at the coolant leak uh, issue and the power steering leak issue. Coolant leak we think we're fixed, but the power steering needs a new pipe, so I'm going to have to get one of them ordered ASAP and get that fixed. Um, in terms of the house, well, we've got loads and loads and loads more work to do. This is probably our best room and that's saying something. We need to completely paint the walls. Um, you can probably see just in here a shot. Um, this is actually a lift that we, we've got in our house. It's, it's for people in wheelchairs and stuff to be able to get um, you know, upstairs. And it was in here when we bought it. Um, I only use it when I'm really, really hungover or if I'm holding tiles <laughs> and building materials upstairs. And, uh, and this is another issue we're trying to get stuff in the house done. These two are just playing with each other all the time, just mucking about. Um, it's been great having Candy. Candy's a, uh, it's a family dog, um, belongs to uh, my stepmom. And unfortunately she's not well at the moment, so we're looking after Candy. And Candy's a guide dog, which means she needs regular walks. She needs to be really strict on the diet, and she can't be picking up too many bad habits from Rupert. So, you know, we're trying... 
but they do love mucking about with each other, as you can see. Um, right, come on, be, come on, that's it now, that's it now, give it a rest, give it a rest, give it a rest, and you, and you. So, um, unfortunately Candy's not going to be coming with us on the trip, it'd be great if she could, I mean a big dog like this will definitely provide some security, even though she's soft, but um, yeah, it's made us realise actually Rupert's a really good dog for living in the van, because Rupert doesn't drop any hairs, we can just chuck him out of the way when he's in the way, um, and uh, yeah, we're always worried with Candy that she might hurt herself because she likes to do everything at full speed. Don't you love? Hmm? So that's it really for this week. Um, I'm hoping in the next couple of days I'll be able to get my kitchen floor down, put some tiles down in the kitchen. Uh, sorry, not in the kitchen, the bathroom. Get the bathroom tiles on the floor, uh, fit a blind and then close the door. Oh, fit the sink in the, in the bathroom. And then um, that's the bathroom completely done, which means we can crack on with the kitchen. And next week I might show you my kitchen in my house. And you probably won't believe how bad the kitchen is. Uh, I mean, this house was really, it was derelict. It had no hot running water when we bought it and there was leaks everywhere. But we fixed all them and it's now habitable. Um, but our kitchen, my, the stuff I carry on my van and the kitchen in my camper van is better equipped than my kitchen and that's saying something so um yeah i might show you that next week the kitchen so um these uh little videos i'm doing each week i'm going to be titling them from um house to home and the reason for that is this is our house um but it really doesn't feel like our home <laughs> Right, can you can you two remain still for like two like two like thirty seconds? Can you? I don't know if you can see this, but we've we've got a full on real rumble going on halfway up the stairs. So, our the, the, the video series that we're doing we are calling from house to home, and that's because this is our house, and it doesn't feel like our home, and we feel that our van is our home, and that's going to become our house. So, um, in case you're wondering why am I saying house to home, that's what we're doing. We're moving out of this house, which is just bricks and mortar, as far as I'm concerned. And we're moving into um, our future home, which will be our van, um, which will hopefully have a better front garden, a better back garden. Uh, it'll be south-facing, whenever I want it to be. And uh, hope maybe lower maintenance, maybe less work to be done on it. And um, less cluttered as well. So um, that's it guys, I, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody that has showed some love and support, um, all the messages I've received, particularly from people who've done this themselves, it's really encouraging to, to hear that you guys have got on with it and it, it's gone really well for you, um, and if it wasn't for people like you that kind of doing this um, before we're doing it, then I think we would have really struggled to imagine what it would look like, and um, yeah, hopefully somebody's watching this and is tempted to do it too. And, but so far week one is good, we've caught up with friends and family, we've told them what's happening and um, everyone's been really really positive so I can't thank everybody enough. And I think that's it, I'm going to try and get the dogs to say goodbye but we'll see how that works. Candy, Rupert, uh, uh, do you want to say bye? Do you want to say goodbye? <laughs> what are you two doing? What are you two doing? What are you doing? That's her tail whacking. What are, you, what are you doing, Ruth? What are you doing over there? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> right, let's go. We've got stuff to get done. Come on, everybody downstairs. Well, that's our first one out of the way. Don't forget to subscribe and like our Facebook page so you never miss the future ones.